treat. Yeah. Real treat this evening. Uh -huh. my guest tonight is a Peabody Award winning actor you know from Saturday Night Live, Horrible Bosses, and Ted Lasso. Sorry, Coach. No, no need to apologize. Danny, what happened between you and Earl, that wasn't your fault. You know, you suffered an unlikely and tragic coincidence. Not too dissimilar from those seen throughout Paul Thomas Anderson's 1999 Oakless Magnolia. Is that Tom Cruise with that little tiny ponytail? No, Danny. I think you're thinking about The Last Samurai. You got a little tiny ponytail in Magnolia, too, Coach. Thank you, Coach. My apologies, Danny. Tom Cruise is rocking a little tiny ponytail in both those films. Okay. Point is, it's a tragic occurrence, all right? One time thing. So let's get away from the bad mojo coming off that penalty box and, you know, have some fun. Just kick some corners, right? Yes. Hey, fellas, light up for midnight poutine. Please welcome back to the Late Show, Jason Sudeikis. Real nice to, nice human to see beings. You. Yeah, yes. humans. Isn't that this nice? Is, uh, I mean, it is. It the really last is. time you and I spoke on this show, yep. other than the Puppy Brigade, was uh, August or something mm -hmm. of 2019. No, 2020. 2020, yeah. 2020. Yeah. And of course, it was over. It was over the uh, the Zoom. Yeah. This is much better. Much better. This is much better. I prefer it. I I gotta say. You've made a little, uh, you've made a name for yourself by wearing, uh, cheerful tops. <laughs> because was it the Golden Globes? Yeah. What was the Globes where you wore the bucket hat and the, and the, and the, and the, the hoodie, it, like the, my, hoodie, yeah, the, the tie, -dye tie dye hoodie? hoodie? Yeah. the Globes? It was the Golden Globes. It was yep. yet another Zoom endeavor. A yes. Zoomed endeavor. Um, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'm taking over for Bruce Valanche, you know, and his cheerful tops. <laughs> Good luck. Get ready to Google it. Good Google luck. Google it. Who's Bruce Valanche? No, they no. know. They, everybody yeah. knows, right? <laughs> exactly. Valanche. Um, but he, yeah, I mean, you know, it was 2.30, you know, 3.30 in the morning. I didn't yeah. want to just wear a, a suit in, like, my no, living you bring, room. No, you, you were yeah. visually happy to look at. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but I was saying to you backstage, it's a little dangerous because the urge to punch you in the solar right. plexus yeah. right now <laughs> is yeah. very hard to resist. You don't wear this to the uh, archery. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well... <laughs> I think since last we spoke, what do we got here? You, you got the Peabody for yes. Ted Lasso. Yeah. You got the Golden Globe. You got the SAG Award. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, Talkable. before any of this, you were Jason Sudeikis. Sure. Famous funny guy already. Yeah. How does it feel? No, how does it feel to get all this recognition? I mean, it's lovely. Because it's all, it's all you know, because of, you know, people responding to the show. And, the, and, and it's your baby. The show was your idea. I mean, sure, sure. But, le but you know, like... like <laughs> Like any baby, you know, it takes a village, right? So, I mean, right, but I mean, sure. look, you, you congrats on yourself for wearing a Peabody. Oh, you know, thanks very much. Here. Thanks very much. And I did, yeah. I did all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did all of it. You kindly texted me the day that we won, the day yes. you guys won, and, yeah. and were helpful and, and on point, as always, to remind me that it's one of the best awards because it's for everyone. It's Literally for every, everyone. everyone gets yeah. it. And everyone so, like, it. Yeah. you know. No, you, it's true. It's, it is. They rec the Peabody's get it. They know that everybody on the show is responsible for the success. And you, uh, and you and I come from a similar background, doing sketch and improv, Second City, I.O. You That's know, right. So it's like we work in the ensemble arts. What we do is not, we're not humorists, we're not Irma Bombeck, we're not stand-ups, you know what I mean? So, like, the fact that a show that is about an ensemble, about a team, sure. and the whole team wins, it's, it's fantastic. And, and that's, that's been lovely. And so that's why it's been really great with the, with the Emmy nominations, that it's scattered throughout, you know, people. 20. Yeah. You got 20 yeah. Emmy nominations. Yeah. And again, that goes to everybody yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, I'll pass it on. That goes, that goes, I'll that pass goes it on. to everybody yeah. else. But it, and again, pre-production, pre our writers have been honored. People, you know, our actors have been honored. People in post-production. So mm -hmm. again, it's, it's, it's nice being the, uh, you know, me personally maybe, or you, you with our names on the, on the marquee, you know, it's that pleasant. we're like the, uh, the disco ball that the light shines on that then gets to, the, you know, shoot off into all these different directions. And we just spin around and people get to dance. Right. <laughs> and, and, and like me, you spent a lot of time clubbing. Evidently. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, all about, I'm all about the disco. I ball, rarely baby. have a pacifier out of this mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. Now, uh, you wore uh, a very interesting T-shirt to the season two premiere. Sure. It got a lot of attention. For those 
who, who may not know, yeah. what is the significance of the names on your t-shirt here? Sure. Well, uh, Jaden, Marcus, and Bakayo are three of the English footballers from their national team. Yep. Uh, they were the last three fellas, young fellas, that, that took the penalty kicks. Uh, they didn't turn out the way that certainly England would have hoped. Certainly a lot of us here in the States would have too and people worldwide. And they caught a lot of guff online, uh, the three young black men. Mm -hmm. And our show is rooted in, in both, you know, uh, despising things like bullying and racism and whatnot, but it also is rooted and takes place in London in England. And so, yeah, it was just our way to use this big fancy premiere to like spotlight them and let them know we got their back and, and how much we support them. And, and yeah. Have and you all been embraced by... Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind taking claps for the show, you know, but like taking claps for that, that's nothing. Like what they've gone through and what they do, like even Marcus, the, the remarkable things he did, like leading up to the season during the pandemic and feed, helping feed kids that weren't getting school lunches because they weren't going to school. Like those are the, I hope, I hope it's understood that we're all clapping and supporting them. Like, it, like I'm just wearing a shirt, you know what I mean? But like, and it was just, it was just a, um, a way to humanize and personify the, those three, those three fellows, and that's why I chose to use, you know, their, their back, their, their surnames are on the back of their kits, you know, their mm -hmm. uniforms. So that's why I gave, used their first names, the names their parents gave them, because they're, they're, they're kids, they're young men, and they should be, you know, have the opportunity to succeed and fail and tie like everyone. <laughs> yeah. Now I understand, I have heard that Ted Lasso, the character himself, is based on a, in part. On a uh, high school basketball coach that you had? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Donnie Campbell? Donnie Campbell was my yeah. high school basketball coach. That would also be school. a good name for a coach. It, it, absolutely. Campbell. And he was. And he was a good yes. coach. Um, yeah, he, he was from Lyons, Kansas. He still is. He's still alive. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, in Overland Park, Kansas. And he was one of those dudes that, that spoke in, like, you know, uh, aphorisms, I guess, maxims, you know, like yeah, yeah, little yeah. sayings. And he was a big Southern guy. And he was young. He was like 31 years old when he was our head coach, so only like 13 years older. And he'd say stuff like, legitimately, like, hey, Sudeikis, you look more nervous than a long tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. You know, he was like that kind of guy. Sure. A little bit more aggressive than Ted and a little deeper voice. Sure. But then he also was the one that clued me into uh, John Wooden, the great UCLA basketball coach who has an amazing philosophy about working with people and just, you know, the idea of his defini definition of success is definitely something that's rooted in the DNA of Ted Lasso. So, yeah, big ups to Donnie Campbell for, uh, you know, not being too hard on me. When I didn't do my homework. Uh, Jason, we have to take a quick break, but don't go anywhere, anybody, because when we come back, I'm gonna ask Jason about what he'd be doing if it wasn't this, the path not taken, if you will.